The European transfer window is in full swing. We're excited and we're sure you are too. Over the month, we'll be seeing lots of player signings as clubs aim to strengthen their squads for the new season. But incoming players aren't the only deals needed to strengthen a squad. Player departures are just as important to free up space and funds. In this video, we'll be talking about some of the biggest clubs and at least one player they'd be hoping to sell off. So here's a list of one player these clubs need to ship out before next season. Number 1. Arsenal and Bernd Leno If you wanted to make a case about Leno's unfair treatment in the past year, then you have enough points to back it up. He has saved the club on numerous occasions with his excellent shot-stopping skills, but how was he rewarded? They signed Aaron Ramsdale late in the transfer window last year, giving him almost no chance to find a new club. And that's not all, they also relegated him to the bench. Now with just one year left on his contract, Arsenal just have to sell Leno by any means possible. Failure to do so would only put them at risk of losing him for free next summer. And despite being a calm player, you also cannot rule out the possibility that his unhappiness might affect the mood of the dressing room. You wouldn't want an unhappy player in your dressing room, would you? Number 2. Manchester United and Anthony Martial He made a loan move to Sevilla in January to save his poor season, but that didn't work out too well for him as he only played a few games for them. His performances were also below par as he failed to score a single goal in La Liga. Now he'll be returning to Manchester United to meet a new coach and a new project, one which could involve the sale of a lot of players. And one thing we can say for sure is, if they were already considering the possibility of shipping him out as at January, then that loan spell at Sevilla didn't do his chances any good for staying. Now, they're increasingly looking likely to sell him on this summer, although we don't think they'd be expecting to make that much cash from the deal. Number 3. Liverpool and Joe Gomez Once upon a time in 2020, he played a major role beside Virgil van Dijk as Liverpool won the Premier League title. But things have not been the same since then as he struggled with injuries and was pushed below the pecking order by Jean Matip. Then, the arrival of Ibrahima Konate last year further complicated issues for him and he was pushed even further down the pecking order, making just eight league appearances all season. He also lost his place in the England national team and now with the World Cup approaching, he looks determined to get some playing time. So he's likely to go elsewhere in search of that. Overall, it looks like a deal that will favour all parties involved. Number 4. Barcelona and Ousmane Dembele with Frankie de Jong Well, this is a case of two players in very different situations. On the one hand is Dembele, who's already declared his interest to leave since last year. His contract expires very soon anyway, so they shouldn't have any problems shipping him out. The same cannot be said for de Jong, though. He's still under contract at Barcelona and doesn't want to leave the club just yet. However, the club may just have to sell him anyway. But that's not because they want to, oh no, far from it. The reason they may want him out is to raise cash. Oh yeah, that's right. It's no longer news that they are in dire need of funds. After all, it's for the same reason they let Messi go. And now, De Jong might just be the perfect option to generate a load of money. And with teams like Man United interested in the midfielder, they may just get their wish. Number 5. Tottenham and Steven Bergwijn he hasn't had the sort of influence expected of him when he was signed a few years ago. Sure, he's had a few hero moments here and there. Who can forget that game against Leicester City earlier this year? But the point is, overall, his time at Spurs has been pretty underwhelming. With the performances of January signing Kulusevski, Bergwijn now looks surplus to requirements. And with Spurs playing Champions League football next season, they would be looking for a winger who would deliver more consistent performances. Number 6. PSG and Ginny Wijnaldum PSG got him for free last summer and, well, it was considered a pretty good bit of business. Now, don't get us wrong, he may have been expected to improve the team, but definitely not to the same level expected from Messi. Problem is, he failed to actually deliver anything. Now, PSG would be looking to let him go this summer and they could even do so while making some money from a player they got for free. Number 7. Real Madrid and Edin Hazard when Real Madrid signed him in 2019, they must have felt that this was the one who could finally fill the boots of Cristiano Ronaldo. Unfortunately, that's not been the case. Instead, youngster Vinicius Jr. has been the one who stepped up. Now, you could argue that this hasn't been all Hazard's fault. After all, he hasn't had a great deal of luck with injuries since he joined. In the just-completed season, he started just eight games in all competitions for Madrid and failed to score a single goal. Those two stats pretty much sum up his entire time at the club. 
Now they have to deal with the headache of shipping him out, and that could be difficult for different reasons. First, they'd have to find a club who'd be willing to pay money to have him. They'd also have to hope that this new club will be able to match his current wages at least. When you consider all of this, you just get the feeling they won't be able to get rid of him this season. Number 8. Bayern Munich and Robert Lewandowski Just a few months ago, who would have thought that we would find this man on a list like this one? Definitely not us. So this is probably the most surprising addition to the list. Of course, that's when you consider the fact that he's been the world's most prolific striker in recent years. Add that to the fact that his union with Bayern seems to be absolutely perfect and you'd understand why nobody would have expected this. Yet here we are, they are now looking to ship him out. Well, we're certain that they'd rather keep him if it were up to them, but the player already declared his intentions to leave and with one year left on his contract, they surely wouldn't want to lose him for free next year or have an unhappy striker in the dressing room. Well, there is still loads of time left in this transfer window, so we can expect some of these deals and a lot more. So, are there any other players who you think should be shipped out? Do let us know in the comments section. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more great videos. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.